Greetings friends, Steven here, and welcome to Gamer Hall episode 29 now. This is my very own uh, video games and more pickup series for YouTube. And today's backdrop item, I'm not quite sure what this is. It's, uh, I'm guessing some sort of pre-order bonus for Saints Row 4. It's not a game I've purchased, but um, I guess I just had some of these to spare, so I was able to get one of these uh, along with some other purchases. So, it's some sort of a blanket or pillowcase. I don't know. I'm not even going to open it. I get the thing I'll probably just stuff it away somewhere, so it's probably easier to just leave it in this wrapping paper for now. So, um, got some games, a uh, surprising amount of uh, comics and mangas because the local store, Curious Comics, had a, an outlet store sort of thing, but uh, they're shutting that down now, turning it into a tabletop gaming store. So they just had a bunch of stock to get rid of, but uh, more on that later. I'm going to start this off with a Genesis game I've been hearing good things about. It is Shadow of the Beast uh, by Electronic Arts, or by Cygnosis Limited rather, and published by Electronic Arts. Uh, I believe they're remaking this game actually, which is pretty cool. As I understand, it's known for its uh, was it parallax scrolling background or something like that. I've never actually played it. Um, but uh, I got it for five bucks, so if they're, if it's a good enough game to be remade, I guess, uh, yeah, here it is. I'm looking forward to seeing if it is worth the hype or not. Next up, um, a bunch of games I bought kind of on impulse. Yeah, I don't know why I bought these. I'm gonna start this off for Super Nintendo Power Moves by Kaneko. Once again, five bucks. I uh, I did try this game. It's uh, it's kind of like um, maybe a bit like if Street Fighter met, we'll say like like a Final Fight sort of game, but it is more Street Fighter than Final Fight. So neat idea, not really a good game. Five bucks. Eh? I guess it's something cool for the collection, if nothing else. Power moves. Gonna follow that up with, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, 12 bucks. Looks like I picked up Journey to the Promised Land Exodus. Once again, very much a cart for the collection, not really for a game I wanna play, but it does look pretty cool. It's one of these weird aftermarket carts. Uh, wisdom Tree. I like how it tells you how to, how to even start the thing up. That's pretty cool. Please wait up to nine flashes on TV screen. Hmm. Press here. Nothing's happening. Ah. Pretty neat card. I doubt the game is very good, but you know, I haven't played it. I haven't tried it, so hopefully uh, it's not completely horrible. Next up, uh, five bucks, another impulse purchase, the Secret Scroll Flying Dragon by uh, Culture Brain. As I understand it, there's another game, Flying Warriors, and that's the sequel to this one. I was looking up some footage on this. It doesn't look half bad. Once again, I haven't played it yet, but, uh, yeah, might be cool. Five bucks, you know. Impulse purchase. You get bored, right? You try and save money, but then you're just like, eh, you know, maybe I'll just stop by a used game store, see what they got. Then you end up buying weird stuff like, what? Techno Super Bowl? Why did I buy this? I uh, I really don't know. Eh, three dollars. Not a bad price. Is this a battery backup game? Normally these gold, if these things on the back are gold, it usually means that there's a battery in there. So maybe. That's kind of cool. Whatever. So, next up, we've got some more recent games. Uh, looks like some pickups from EB Games, to be specific. I'll start this off with a rather neat item. Uh, Disney Infinity came out, as we uh, took a look at in the last episode. And I've uh, been buying up a bunch of the power discs. I don't even know if I've shown these off yet. I've got to stack them right here. Got your Rapunzel, you got your Alice, you got uh, that guy from Up, his cane. Get uh, Cinderella's uh, carriage thing. Which is pretty funny when you use this in the game. The music starts up like, from Cinderella. That's pretty funny. We got that thing that we saw last time, and then we got another one of these Rapunzel thingies. Great thing about these is how easily they stack. And we got a couple of the circular ones. We got uh, Fix It Felix and uh, Blue Cargo. Cute. 
Now these are five bucks for two random pieces that you get in a package, which is kind of lame because you'll get doubles. I've actually only got one double so far. Um, but I discovered they'd be games. You can actually buy them used at a discount. $199 or $179 if you have the, uh, the edge card, which I do recommend everyone get. So I got the uh, Stitches Blaster. That's cool. And uh, next up... Um, I haven't tried this one yet either. Wario Master of Disguise for the Nintendo DS. 896. That's a pretty good deal. It's all in there, of course. I think there might even be uh, Club Nintendo points in there. I haven't, haven't looked yet. It's got that stick thing, but it came off on one side. Looks like a pretty cool game. Looks like it focuses a bit much on the stylus, which might be annoying, but whatever. Reasonable price, nonetheless. Next up, a game I actually just beat, I've been thinking of doing a review for it, is the, well, kind of the physical copy of DuckTales Remastered. 1999. This is apparently kind of sought after because they did uh, hyper limited quantities of it, but uh, don't be too depressed if you don't get this because all you're really getting is just this pin. Kind of cool that's got the uh, Mickey Mouse thing on the back. Yep, no disc, just this piece of paper. There's this thing, it's got the code on it. I won't show the code, but it doesn't matter because I've already used it and I've already beat the game. It's pretty cool. I kind of like the original NES version more though. Mm, nice art though. The 3D backgrounds didn't really go with the art though, they kind of conflict. But uh, we'll discuss more on that uh, should I do that review. And it's of course by Capcom, I think it's like 20 bucks. So, yeah, there you go. Next up, a game I didn't know was so cheap now, it is a Tech and Tag Tournament 2. I got this for 10 bucks, new, pretty good price, pretty good. Uh, I was gonna buy this right when it came out, I just didn't though. Probably just had to save the money or whatever, and I was just like, well, whatever. So, got it now, 10 bucks, pretty good price, pretty cool game, I do recommend it. Although I haven't opened this one yet. <laughs> Next up, oh yeah, so uh, like I was saying at the start, um, our local comic store, Curious Comics, had a, a second store that uh, had just a bunch of old junk that they were just getting rid of to make uh, room, you know, just get rid of old stock, and the last day we went there and they had a bunch of stuff on super sale, like everything was super cheap, so I grabbed a bunch of random things. One of those items is a Booberry plush doll. Everything was half off of the latest sticker price, so I guess I got paid four bucks for this. That's pretty funny. I would have liked the Count Chocula one the most, but whatever. This was the only one that they really had. They had more plush things, but this is the only one that really uh, appealed to me. So it was kind of funny. Spooky. I remember Count Chocula. I don't remember this flavor of cereal so much, though. Count Chocula was great, though. Next up, um, an anime I haven't watched in a long time, but I do recommend it. It is um, Magical Shopping Arcade at Benobashi. This is actually the soundtrack, which I guess I got for what, five bucks? Or was it 250 at this point? Whatever. Um, pretty good anime, I do recommend it. And I seem to recall the soundtrack was pretty cool. So, you know, last day, impulse purchase. Sure, why not? It was either five bucks or 250. And next up, um, stack of books. So let's get going. Um, a lot of these are mangas. This is the only one that isn't translated. It's actually the Pocket Pikachu. Uh, I don't know. I guess you could say it's a companion book of some sort. Now, yeah, well, our co-host Brandon actually bought one of these as well. It's just funny. It's got lots of pictures of Pikachu doing things, flipping over the tables and taking shower and sleeping and all this weird things that you can do in the game and as Brandon pointed out uh, it's got stickers that's cool every manga on this last day was a dollar so I was like yeah yeah let's uh, let's give this a go original sticker price $12.99 yeah good luck with that a dollar though that's a pretty good deal pretty good deal next up uh, manga I'm pretty sure I've read already uh, our library actually had these to borrow out it was the, the Genshin manga this is a uh, volume 5 Pretty cool uh, manga series about just nerds in Japan being nerds. Yeah, once again, a buck. Yeah, not too bad. 
Next up, um, I've got a fairly reasonable collection of these uh, Udon mangas based on Street Fighter. Uh, I didn't have this one. Unfortunately, this is uh, part two of the uh, Sakura Gambaru manga set, but whatever. Once again, for a dollar, yeah, sign me up. Thank you. To go along with that, it's Street Fighter Alpha, once again, a volume two. But, you know, once again, for a dollar, why not? I could always maybe find volume one somewhere. It's a pretty cool picture of Bison there. Ah, you get the idea. Mm -hmm. And Street Fighter 2, once again, another volume two, yeah. Normally I don't show off uh, comics or mangas, but I guess this is the comic slash manga episode right here. Next up, I've actually been reading this right now. It is uh, Street Fighter Legends Abuki. Now this is volume three, which made me believe that it was going to be like halfway or mostly maybe to the end of the Abuki series. But this is actually the whole thing. I think each volume focuses on a different character. So I was kind of worried, but yeah, I think it's all in here. Good work by Udon, dig this art style very much. Yeah, it's all shiny. Cool. Put that over there. Next up, this is a pretty neat item. This was uh, one of the last things I saw before I checked out with all of this stuff. For a mere five bucks, it is uh, Volume 1, The Dark Crystal Creation Myths. By Brian Froud. I've always preferred Labyrinth to the Dark Crystal, but uh, this is a pretty cool book, and for five bucks, you know, pretty sweet deal. Full color, nice big book, cool pages, cool textures. Got this thing on the back. Now this was in here actually because it was damaged. You can see here slightly there's a bit of a dent, and then the pages are a bit, you know, pushed in, but you know, that's just fine. Especially for five bucks. Pretty sweet. Put that over there. And uh, the last item I got at the Gears Comics uh, second store closing sale day thing. Uh, $19.99, but at half off. So for ten bucks, it is uh, Nekatoy's Gremlins figure. This is Daffy. They never called him Daffy in the, in the uh, movie, but whatever. Maybe that's just what they called him in production. That's what they used for the uh, the toy here. I always like the Gremlins more in brown as opposed to green, but whatever. That's cool. He was a funny character. I don't know how uh, Kate could ever uh, think that this guy was Gizmo. He was a uh, pretty hyper character in the game, or in the uh, the movie. It's funny, our uh, local Toys R Us has this uh, electric Gremlin. And he's always there. They just have this one section near the back, which is older toys. And uh, the price never goes down on them. He's always like 12 bucks, which is uh, a bit much for like a two-dimensional toy. This one's pretty funny too. I think there's supposed to be a series three of the Gremlins figures coming out because I remember seeing pictures on uh, Twitter from NECA of the uh, Spider Gremlin, which was, I guess, was it Mohawk? So that'll be pretty cool to see in person. Yeah, neat little toy. I might open it, I might not. You never know. So sure, I'm almost done here. There's only three items left. And this uh, goes along quite well with this. Um, I was at a local thrift store. And for 10 bucks I picked up the original NES Capcom Disney's DuckTales. One thing I was noticing, which is kind of weird, is that this one it's called Disney's DuckTales. This one, it's just Disney DuckTales. I wonder why they took the apostrophe S out. Hmm. But yeah, so like I said earlier, this is the one I prefer. This is good too. But, you know, the original is usually the best. This cart's in pretty good shape. Along with that, I got for 10 bucks. Actually, I got these at a discount, I think. Yeah, this uh, was stickered at 20, I got it for 10. 
and this I actually did get for 10. I think I got th these three items for 25 total. Uh, Sekiri, Sekirai, 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 the complete series. It's uh, some sort of uh, big booby girls anime. It is a Blu ray and DVD combo pack. And as you can see, they are certainly focusing on boobs. If you read this whole back, that's pretty much what I talk about. I've never, I don't know if I've ever heard of this show, but whatever. 10 bucks for a four disc collection, that's pretty good. I've never understood why you would want both DVD and Blu-ray in the same the same pack. Like, wouldn't you just want one or the other? Well, whatever. Someone didn't like it, so I guess they brought it in, but now I've got it, and uh, I haven't started watching yet, but, you know, hoping for the best once again. And last but certainly not least, this is a pretty cool item. Uh, Nintendo Power. What issue is this? Issue volume 67. Pretty sweet. So like I said, I got these three items for 25 bucks. Not too shabby. That's a pretty cool issue too. Look, it's got Demon's Crest in it. I don't know if you guys have seen this game, but it's pretty hype. Amazing art, amazing music, amazing uh, gameplay. Just a brilliant game. Like, I have it. And for some strange reason, I've never really, get, never really played through it. But I definitely recommend Demon's Crest if you can find it. It's pretty hard to find, but... Uh, well worth the money and the time to hunt it down. Here's another kind of rare game, Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel. Get some uh, Star Wars, Uno Racers. Little, little thing on Mickey Mouse here. Tin Star. Got some codes, Final Fantasy 3 walk through, hell yeah. And these sorted odds and ends. Got some Game Boy stuff. Samurai Shodan and Wario vs. Bomberman. Got some reviews. Some uh, coming soon games. Let's see what's coming soon. We got, oh no, Mega Man X2. That game's gonna be amazing. Kirby's Dream Course. And assorted other games. Which are all in the past now, but back then. Got some sh some uh, trading cards here. That's cool. All right. So there you go. Looks like we're almost up to uh, 18 minutes. So uh, I think that about does it for episode 29. So once again, thanks so much for sticking through here and watching uh, watching my ongoing series of me spending all my money on things. Zoom out a bit there. And yeah. So, of course, by all means, feel free to leave any comments or like, subscribe, share, blah, 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 blah. You know the typical YouTube routine. We all want more uh, subscribers and views and all that. So, um, actually, I've been curious if you guys have seen earlier episodes, if you prefer it when I add music tracks and uh, text and all that sort of stuff. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. The last one I uploaded, I pretty much did a, just a straight upload, so there was, there was no music. Um, so, yeah, if you guys have a preference one way or the other, let me know. Uh, otherwise, that's it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Um, as always, stay tuned to the channel for uh, game reviews, some Let's Plays, and uh, video podcasts, and so much more. Cool. Thanks again. Have a good day.